Welcome. Let's take a look at our top story this hour. Pakistan's tryst with terrorism continues as Pakistan has now requested the United Nations Security Council to allow 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed to use his bank account for personal expenses. This comes as Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan is all set to address the 74th United Nations General Assembly. In a surprising development, Saeed has been given permission by the UNSC Sanctions Committee to withdraw money from his account. To put things into perspective here, Hafiz Saeed continues to feature on the UNSC list of banned terrorists. Now, Saeed can now take out up to 150,000 Pakistani rupees, about 1,000 US dollars, from all of his accounts in total on a monthly basis. Now, in the letter to the UNSC, Pakistan claimed that Saeed has to support a family of four. The terrorist mastermind's bank accounts were earlier frozen by the Pakistani government in compliance with the UNSC resolution. Remember, Hafiz Saeed and other terrorists were arrested in July for terror financing. However, India had dismissed this arrest, calling it mere drama by Pakistan. This new request by Pakistan for a terrorist now contradicts its own stance about taking strict action against terrorism. As Pakistan continues to rake up the issue of Jammu and Kashmir internationally, it continues to fail in its own battle against terrorism. Another day at the United Nations General Assembly and more of the same you could say with the two Prime Ministers from India and Pakistan. The top focus today was on business. He started the day with a business event. He met with the CEOs of top uh, US companies. The Pakistani leadership uh, kept itself busy with was Kashmir. Prime Minister Imran Khan clearly said that he was disappointed with whatever he was trying to do on Kashmir. Nothing seems to work out. The focus from the Indian Prime Minister is to showcase India is a world leader and India is a solution finder. It's been three days since the UN General Assembly debates kicked off in New York. All through the week, Pakistan has been trying to raise an alarm over Kashmir. Imran Khan has been making nuclear threats. Pakistani diplomats have been trying to whip up some support. The bottom line is this. Pakistan has been unable to bring Kashmir into the discussion table at uh, the UN amid all of the noise. Now, behind the scenes, Pakistan is playing a different game. At the United Nations, Pakistani diplomats moved a request to allow Hafiz Saeed access to his bank accounts. The world body has approved Pakistan's demands. Pakistan had big plans for the United Nations week. Islamabad wanted to unleash a major diplomatic campaign against India. Imran Khan wanted to shine a spotlight on India's Kashmir decision. What options have we got apart from this? But Pakistan's anti-India campaign has failed to make even a minor dent. It has failed to garner the support of the world body on Kashmir. Pakistan tried every trick in its playbook. In New York, Imran Khan played the victim card before the press. If no mediation, then what next? So the international community does not respond. Aja, uh, Azim, did you say I beg President Trump? He even raised the nuclear bogey again. This is just the beginning. It's going to get worse. And uh, there's a potential that two nuclear armed countries will come face to face, face at some stage. So hence, I felt that it is extremely important that we highlight what is happening in Kashmir amongst the world leaders and a forum like the United Nations General Assembly. But the world leaders are not buying the nuclear threat. So far, Pakistan has been able to secure the support of only a few nations. Turkey is perhaps the only prominent name on that list. Beyond that, the rest of the world leaders are leaning towards India. Islamabad was hoping for some support from American President Donald Trump. But the American president appeared less keen to intervene when he met Prime Minister Modi. It would be great if they could work out something on Kashmir. We all want to see that, I'm sure. While Pakistan continues to create a lot of noise on Kashmir, 
Behind the scenes, it continues to execute its nefarious game plans. At the United Nations, Pakistan approached the Security Council with a request. They wanted the world body to allow Hafiz Saeed access to his accounts. And Pakistan got its way. The 2611 mastermind will be allowed to withdraw up to 150,000 Pakistani rupees on a monthly basis. Hafiz Saeed is a UN-designated global terrorist. His accounts were frozen due to UN sanctions. But Pakistan's diplomatic moves at the UN have now given Hafiz Saeed a backdoor entry into his accounts. Despite the repeated setbacks, Pakistani Prime Minister is still expected to raise the Kashmir issue during his speech at the General Assembly. In contrast, India has managed to create a different space for itself on the global stage. India has been an active participant in the debates around global issues of importance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has participated in various events and outlined his vision on the global economy, the fight against terrorism and climate action. He advocated for closer alliance between India and the world. Your technology and our talent can change the world. Your skill and our skills can speed up global economic growth. Your prudent method and our pragmatic mind can write new stories in management. Your rational ways and our human values can show the path which the world is looking for. And if there is any gap anywhere, I will personally act as a bridge. And that is the fundamental difference between India and Pakistan. India is trying to build bridges to boost global economic growth. But Pakistan continues to push a destructive agenda that the world is increasingly getting tired of listening to. Bureau Report, we on. World is one.